How's it going? I'm Liz, and welcome to the Diary of a Happy Hooker. I am really glad you're here. If you are a new subscriber, then hello, thanks for joining, and hope you stick around. And if you are a dedicated subscriber, <laughs> I think that's what I'm going to start calling you, the dedicated subscriber. <sighs> and I'll forget that by next week. <laughs> I will. Watch. I will have a whole new name for it next week. Then hello and thank you for returning. I appreciate you. Today is FO Friday. And FO stands for finished objects. And if you want it to stand for something else, you can. <laughs> oh, so I have a couple of things to show you. Literally a couple. Two. <sighs> but, um, yeah, one of them is pretty big, and I mentioned it before in Monday's, I think it was Monday's podcast, mm, that I'd been working on the squares on my granny square blanket yarn blanket, <clears throat> and I really need a better name for that. So still, if you have ideas for that, hmm, put them down below, because I would love to come up with a different, <laughs> different name for that thing. So while it is not technically a finished object in and of itself, all of the squares are finished. So they are all finished objects. Excuse me. So. I have started putting them together and I have the blanket half, literally half assembled. And it is right here. And I'm so excited. I'm sorry the lighting in here sucks. So, we got yellow, some red, and some orange. And I'm showing you the nice side of it right now. Because everybody likes to see the nice side, the right side, the good side. Ugh. Man, I'm short. And there's that. And this is halfway. I have three more rows this way to do. So, yeah, it's going to be huge. Now let me show you the wrong side. The other side. You see all these danglies? You see all of those? Yeah. I still have to weave all those in. Mm-hmm. I am going to have no less than 8 billion ends to put into this thing. What was I thinking? <sighs> but it'll be great when it's done. There's definitely a right side and a wrong side to this. I'm putting this together using... And it's black yarn, so you can't really see. But that was the intention. That was by design. Slip stitches. So I'm going under both stitches, both full stitches, and then doing a slip stitch to hold everything together, which is making this nice ridge on top. I mean, it's not huge. It's not overly noticeable. And then in the back, you kind of have this little... I mean, you can still see it. But I like I like this side better because it's got the it's got the texture. So it's got the texture on the front and on the back. I mean it's not bad. It's just it's just gonna be flat. And that's the part I want against my body is the flat part. <coughs> Excuse me. I had a lot of 
neutral colored squares, mostly these gray variegated ones in both the big and the small size squares. So it was a bit of a challenge to figure out how to put everything in a place where there was pops of color and neutrals and neither one was overwhelming. I guess that's the right word. Um, they're overbearing. And I think I did that. Um, I got it laid out the way I wanted it. I took a picture of it uh, because obviously I can't have this thing spread out over my bed for days and days and days while I put it together because it's going to get knocked around while I'm sleeping. <laughs> I'm never going to get that put back together again. It's fairly heavy. Um, so it's going to be a fairly substantial blanket. It covers the entire top of my queen bed. I mean, it doesn't drape down or anything, but it does cover the entire top of my queen bed. So it is good size. Um, so when it's all finished, it'll be, it'll fit the size, it'll, it'll fit the top of my bed and it'll be nice and cozy warm. And I'm looking forward to snuggling into it and watching a movie and eating popcorn or ice cream or something. <laughs> so there's that. And my other finished object is a whip that I have not shown you before. And I haven't even like finished, officially finished, finished it, but it's finished because I'll show you a second. So this is a hat that I made using a scrap ball of yarn. It's a big scrap. I'm pretty sure it was a Cameron Pound of Love at one point, or is like in a kind of a heathered charcoal color. But <clears throat> the ball band is long gone. No clue what it is. It's enormous and I want to use it up. So I am. I am holding it together with, oh hey, I found snacks in the bottom of my bag. <laughs> I've got little sweet tarts down there, little rolls of sweet tarts. Um, another Angora Active Yarn, color 841. Um, this has all the exact same sat stats as the purple one. So if you are interested in that, please go back to my Miscellaneous Monday video. And when you see me holding that up, <clears throat> you will get the fat stats. Can't talk. Sorry, I just bounced you. So I have been holding these two together. And I think this hat turned out beautifully. It's kind of a mauled look. It's got the dark reds and the pinks and the bright reds on this charcoal background. So, <sighs> the only thing I have left to do really is just tie it off <clears throat> and weave in the ends. So, I'm a little befuddled though because. It's kind of big. It's big on me. So I don't know if this needs to be a men's hat or if I need to do a few more rounds. You know, pull it in a little bit, make it more of a slouch hat. Can you see that? I think that turned out so nice. Um, I have a fairly average size head for a woman. After I measured it, it was 22 inches, so it was bang on for average. And um, it's a little big on me, so I'm not sure. I don't know where it'll end up. It'll find its home. They all do. Um, oh, hey, there's one more in here. 
<laughs> oh, this is one of the scrap hats I worked on earlier this year. Has been a finished object for quite some time. This is just a regular striped beanie type hat. It's got the uh, kind of a medium red, brick red color. And then I just did um, <clears throat> a stripe of chocolate brown every one, two, three, four, every four rows. So I did all my increasing. And then when it looked about right, I put a brown stripe in and did four row or three rows of red and then a fourth row of brown, did that all the way down. And then when I did the um, band down here, I finished it off with the brown. And this fits me pretty well. It's a little snug around the head, but I don't mind that because then I know what's on. <laughs> you know, it's got a little slouch to it in the back. Which again is not bad. So definitely a female, adult female, or maybe teenage male size hat. <coughs> Excuse me, I am sorry. I forgot to grab a drink. And I'm a little dry at this point. So those are my finished objects for now. Next week you will see the watercolors blanket with the border finish on it. That'll be on there. And um, the uh, Granny Square blanket yarn blanket will be finished. Uh, it'll be <clears throat> at least at the very least, completely assembled. My goal is to have it done. Have it all assembled, have the border on it, done. That's my goal. We'll see how that ends up. Um, sorry, I thought I heard something. <sighs> and to that end, I believe this is the end. <laughs> It's a little shorter one tonight, but I would love to know what your finished objects are for the week and what you're hoping to have finished next week. What are your goals? What are you working towards? So, um, yeah, Monday I will fill you in on some of my goals for 2022 because I have some and I'm pretty excited about them. And yeah, so it'll be, it'll be good. It'll be good. Um, <clears throat> a little teaser is that I intend to um, learn a new technique with crocheting and I intend to learn a new type of crocheting. And that is going to, I'm going to incorporate that into 2022 and start practicing these two different things. <laughs> so there you are. There's your cliffhanger for Monday, guys. If you want to find out what, uh, what's, on the, what's on the agenda for 2022, then I will see you on Miscellaneous Monday. I hope you all have a wonderful Christmas and just being happy and peaceful with whatever's going on in your life. Just for a little while, just take a breath and enjoy the holiday. Whatever holiday you celebrate, I hope every bit of it is as great as you are. So thanks so much for being here. I look forward to seeing you Monday. Very Merry Christmas to those who celebrate Christmas and very happy holidays to those of you who celebrate others. And I will see you soon. Bye, guys.